Hello everyone and welcome again in a new video tutorial. Today guys I'm going to show you how you can resolve the yellow the internet yellow triangle problem or no internet access problem. This is this problem just to inform you it's only related it's not only related to your settings it might be related to your router it might be related to your computer there is several several things which might cause this problem and you will need to make sure that you try everything before contacting your internet provider to check if they have any problem so first of all for people they have windows 7 windows 8 windows 10 you need to go and to open control panel or if you have it in your desktop you can just click on it and then if you have large or small icon view you will just change it to category and you will go to network and internet and network and internet and here we will select network and sharing center and this window will pop up so here we will click with the right button of the mouse on the Wi-Fi and we'll open the properties And here on the properties, we will change a few things. Well, we click on it two times. And please make sure that it's selected here, that there is this small mark inside it. Here, there is, there is the first solution is you try, you select obtain an IP address automatically. And you select also obtain a DNS server automatically and you click OK. And then you will just need to restart your computer and this problem should be solved. If not, then you will go back to your internet and you will open again and you will open the same again, the same windows and you go to here and you type 192, 168 and you check, you check under your, your router for the IP address and you might find something similar in uh, the address which you will need to, ex to use to access or to send comment to your router. Usually it's, it's written on the paper below the router. In my case it's 8 and here and here you select a random number it can be 100 it can be 200 and here you put the exact IP address again which you have under your router and you put it exactly and it's usually 192.168 some number and then this so again in default gateway you will put it as it appears in your on your on the paper on your router subnet mask you put 255.255.255.0 this is only a settings which allow you to browse the internet. And on the IP address, you will just copy the default getaway 192.168, this number, and in, in the last number or the last digit, you put a random number. In the, in the DNS server, here you will select 8888, 8, 8, 8, and the next 888, 8, and here 4, and here 4. And you will select validate upon exit. And you just click OK and this is should resolve the problem as you will see. So I will just click OK to show you. And I click OK again. And there we go. The internet start moving a bit. And let's see if it's going to be resolved. Detecting problems and the system should now be able to resolve the problems automatically. As you can see, now my internet is working and I'm fully inter uh, I'm fully connected. We can just test it now with Mozilla. And we'll just wait a bit and here we'll type Google and it should be working. Even though my internet is a bit slow, but it should be working. As you can see guys, my internet is a bit slow and this is normal. However, it is totally working and it is totally fine. Just type again YouTube. Just to check if everything is fine. Yep, as you can see, it's charging and YouTube should appear in a few seconds. So now my internet is working. If this doesn't resolve the problem, I will suggest you to go again step by step and to make sure to check if if this IPv6 is selected, IPv6 is selected, 
and you click on it to check that you select that this obtain an IPv6 address automatically and also obtain DNS server address automatically are coached are selected and you click OK and I will also suggest to you if putting the numbers doesn't work I will suggest to you to try to obtain also automatic IP address and automatic DNS server and this is should resolve the problem if this doesn't work for you guys I will suggest you to go again to your device manager and to check if your if all your devices uh, if, if all your devices are installed especially the the wireless one so we will just go to the network adapters and we'll click on that section and here my one and Realtek Intel okay there is no missing drivers here all the drivers are installed and especially the network one so it should be fine if guys if this doesn't resolve the problem there is gonna be a second video about how you can resolve the yellow triangle using another command and this is for the people who they couldn't resolving they resolve their problem using this video thanks for watching and talk to you soon in a new video tutorial